All right. Uh, good morning, everyone. Um, this is Dave Nadler with the National Weather Service here in Peachtree City. It's Thursday, October 26. Um, and this is our uh, weekly weather briefing for north and central Georgia. Um, the link I have there on the first slide has um, our uh, hopefully our uh, graphics slides from this presentation will be there already. Uh, sent them up about 20 minutes ago, so they should be there. Um, if anybody has any issues with that, we'll uh, we'll look at it after after the briefing here. All right, let's uh, go ahead and get started. Um, we okay okay. Um, just wanted to start off with a graphic from this morning. Um, we um, obviously seen some pretty cold temperatures. Um, just about the entire area saw temperatures uh, in the 30s this morning, so we off, got off to a cold start. Um, a lot of you probably heard of some of the coldest air we've seen since early April. Um, we even had a few locations across extreme North Georgia, especially in the higher elevations, uh, drop just below freezing for a couple hours this morning uh, up near Blairsville, Helen, uh, parts of Fannin, uh, Union, and Towns County. Um, this is not all that unusual to see for late October, but we are, most areas with these temperatures this morning uh, are running about 5 to 10 degrees below normal. Um, good news, uh, we are going to see a quick warm up today um, and then on into tomorrow <clears throat> ahead of our, uh, our next front that we're expected to see on, on Saturday. Um, main headlines uh, on the next slide here, just want to draw everybody's attention to the fact that we're not expecting any high impact weather over the next seven days. Um, so that's good news. We are expecting a pretty strong cold front to sweep across the area Saturday and the Saturday night and with that. We're expecting some, um, you know, showers, maybe a storm or two, especially for areas like uh, from Columbus to Macon and points south and east of those areas uh, on Saturday afternoon, Saturday evening. Um, other point behind the front, we will see a period of some gusty northwest winds Saturday night that could extend into Sunday. Um, shouldn't be a major deal, but just want to give you a heads up that, you know, 20 to 30 mile per hour wind gusts could happen behind the front for a few hours on Sunday. Um, the next uh, shot of colder air behind the front, Sunday night into Monday morning, we could see temperatures very similar to what we saw this morning, if not a few degrees colder. Uh, I'll show you that here in, in just a couple of minutes. And then um, things should bounce back. Uh, temperatures should bounce back to more seasonal levels by Tuesday and Wednesday of midweek and, and dry conditions after the rain uh, that we see on Saturday into Saturday night. Uh, dry conditions are expected to return and persist into at least the early part to middle of next week. <clears throat> okay, so the current um, weather pattern, we got a big area of high pressure across the southeast uh, region, got an area of low pressure over the northeast states, and another one, uh, a system that's dropping out of the northern plains. That system that's coming out of uh, the northern plains, uh, North Dakota, South Dakota, Minnesota, you see the front kind of stretching down into Nebraska and Kansas. That's going to be our next weather maker as we head into Saturday, and that's going to be the front that, that crosses the area this weekend. Uh, but until then, um, the next uh, 24 to, to 48 hours or so are going to be really nice. Should see an uh, increase in cloud cover tomorrow, but today, tomorrow, temperatures are going to warm up uh, today and then even warm up a few degrees uh, on tomorrow. So it's going to be uh, it's going to be fairly pleasant over the next couple of days, as you can see. Uh, this slide shows you expected temperature high temperatures today. A lot of the area is going to see upper 60s to lower 70s. Um, so after a cool start, we're going to bounce up to a good 30, 30 plus degrees from where we started this morning, and that's uh, that's going to be good news. Uh, mainly sunny skies and uh, dry conditions, so no impact really weather today. Uh, tomorrow, more of the same. Could see a slight increase in cloud cover, especially uh, from the west uh, during the afternoon tomorrow. But temperatures are going to bounce back up into the uh, lower to middle 70s for most of the area. So uh, tomorrow, uh, winds will probably shift around to the southwest ahead of the front. Um, that'll kind of usher in that warmer air uh, ahead of the front tomorrow. So that's what we're expecting through tomorrow. And then as we head into Saturday, um, this is where the impacts of the cold front are going to start to sweep across the area. So what you're seeing is a uh, uh, expected high temperature image uh, behind the front as the uh, front moves kind of northwest to southeast across the area, uh, temperatures will drop. Um, only expecting 
high temperatures to, to struggle really to make it out of the mid to upper 50s across northwest and, and northern portions of Georgia. Um, be a little bit warmer out ahead of the front, uh, Macon, Eatonton, down the Dublin, uh, Warrington area. Um, we will see probably temperatures get into the upper 60s to middle 70s ahead of the front on Saturday. Um, the image that you see on the left is expected uh, rainfall. Most of the area, not everybody is going to see measurable rainfall, but we're expecting uh, most of the area to see something. And the higher rainfall amounts are kind of leaning towards the uh, north and west of I-85 corridor, um, where we could see anywhere from maybe a quarter to a half an inch with slightly higher amounts. Um, we're not going to see the rainfall amounts that we saw a lot earlier this week with our, the last system, um, but any any sort of measurable rainfall certainly will be good news. Um, again, most of the area is going to see anywhere from maybe a tenth to a half an inch. Um, some areas may see a little bit higher amounts. Um, but we're not expecting a widespread, you know, significant rainfall event. We're really not expecting, uh, we may see a few thunderstorms out ahead of the front Saturday afternoon into the evening hours, but we're not expecting any sort of strong or severe weather threat uh, with this front um, as it moves across the area on Saturday. So here, the next slide will show the probability of seeing measurable rainfall. The, the image that you see on the left is more for like the, the morning hours on Saturday through the early afternoon. And then the image you see on the right are the probability of seeing rainfall uh, and a couple of storms during the afternoon and evening hours. So you see everything kind of shifts to the east and south. Uh, the higher probabilities shift a little bit more to the east and south on Saturday afternoon and evening with the cold front as it pushes to the south and east across the area. So most of a uh, little note I made at the top, we're expecting most of the rain or any thunderstorm potential to end Saturday evening into the early overnight hours on Saturday night from west to east. I mentioned the wind uh, potential uh, behind the front. These are uh, the image that you see is the maximum wind gust that we could see late Saturday night into Sunday uh, behind the cold front. Most of the winds are going to be out of the northwest direction. Um, sustained winds could be in that 10 to 20 mile per hour range, not out of the ordinary, not, not nothing unusual, I should say. But some of the some of the gusts could get into that 20 to 30 mile per hour range, uh, especially um, as we start to um, kind of mix out on Sunday mid to late morning through the afternoon hours. And some of the higher elevations uh, across the area could see uh, slightly higher wind gusts or, or you know closer to 30 miles per hour. Again, not not a major uh, impact, but certainly going to be a little breezy, blustery at times behind the front. And with those high temperatures struggling behind the front to get out of the 50s to lower 60s, it'll feel a little bit cooler. Some of that wraparound moisture around the front could, um, even though most of the rain may end behind the front late Saturday and the Saturday night, we could still see some cloud cover uh, behind the front Saturday night into early Sunday, and then things should start to improve uh, late Sunday into Sunday night as far as the cloud cover breaking up. Speaking of Sunday into Monday, we are, these are the afternoon high temperatures on Sunday and the morning lows um, as we head into uh, Monday. Actually, that I should have changed that. That's actually uh, morning lows for Tuesday morning, but I, I think I have a graphic uh, for Monday morning. But bottom line here, um, skies may start to break up and clear on Sunday, but it will be cool. Normal high um, for this time of year, of year, at least around Atlanta, is generally in the uh, upper 60s and you know we may struggle to get out of the lower to mid 50s uh, for Sunday so definitely about 10 to 15 degrees below normal for this time of year. Um, the graphic that you see on the right for morning lows that actually should be Monday um, so that we're actually expecting temperatures to be in the lower to mid 30s for much of the area on Monday morning and some areas could be even drop uh, below freezing for a couple of hours so we'll be watching that for any potential frost advisory, even a freeze warning for especially the northern uh, counties on Monday morning. Uh, so that is what we have. And then looking ahead into uh, Monday uh, through the middle of next week, uh, start to rebound a little bit. You see the temperatures on Monday, still a little bit below normal, but generally uh, upper 50s to maybe mid 60s across our southern counties. Uh, overnight lows Tuesday night into Wednesday morning are going to be generally in the 40s to maybe lower 50s. That's going to be about 10 to 15 degrees warmer than what we are expected to see uh, Tuesday morning and even on Monday morning. 
uh, where we should see our coldest temperatures uh, evolve. Highs on Tuesday, uh, warming back up into the mid to upper 60s, and that should continue into Wednesday, uh, mid to upper 60s, maybe near 70. Uh, so, but dry conditions are going to persist uh, Monday, Tuesday into Wednesday next week, so that should be good news. All right, um, again, not a whole lot of uh, impact weather to really talk about. Just wanted to address the, uh, the main uh, concerns with the cold front moving through uh, on s Saturday and the Saturday night. Um, expect maybe a tenth to maybe upwards of a half an inch of rain. A few storms are possible Saturday afternoon into the evening hours, but mainly uh, to the south and east uh, of Atlanta, Macon area to the east, Dublin, Warrington, those areas. I'm not expecting any severe threat at this point, just primary threat's going to be locally heavy rain, maybe occasional uh, brief wind gust to 30 or 40 miles per hour with any storms that do develop. Um, of course, the uh, cloud to ground lightning threat will be there. But again, isolated activity is what we're expecting uh, at best at this time. Gusty northwest winds behind the front Saturday night into Sunday. Uh, below normal temperatures are, again are expected Sunday into Monday with a potential uh, frost freeze concern uh, Sunday night into Monday morning. Uh, certainly stay tuned to uh, stay up to date on our forecast as we head through the weekend into early part of next week for any possible uh, frost advisories or freeze warnings that we may put up. Um, then a return to more seasonal temperatures as we head into the middle of next week. Uh, dry conditions are expected after we see any rain uh, with the front on Saturday, Saturday night. Expect dry conditions uh, Sunday through the uh, middle of next week. So that is about it. Um, feel free to keep in touch with us, certainly through phone. Um, our briefing page should have the graphics and slides. Um, and then you can certainly connect with us uh, through social media. And with that, I'll take any questions that anybody has. Let me stop the recording real fast.